I'm Ty Quinones. Right now in your 13 Action News update, as expected, Governor Steve Sisolak has now extended coronavirus emergency directives. So this means that businesses need to continue operating with 50% capacity. The gatherings must also be limited to no more than 50 people. The governor is also expected to announce a long-term plan to fight COVID-19 on Monday. Or earlier this week, the governor said that he wants to focus on punishing individual businesses for not complying with mandates rather than entire industries. And developing tonight, Las Vegas Aces player Lindsay Allen may have tested positive for COVID-19. According to ESPN, Allen's test came back with an inconclusive positive result. And according to league rules, Allen must be treated as a positive case until she has two negative tests in a row 24 hours apart. Uh, Allen then sending out a tweet tonight saying, quote, what a strange year. I feel fine and I don't have any symptoms. Just following protocol and hoping to be back soon. Well, nearly one quarter of Nevada workers, they are unemployed right now. New numbers from Dieter are showing uh, more than 18,000 people filed for unemployment benefits last week. Well, claims for self-employed contract and gig workers are up drastically. The excessive heat warning continues into the start of your weekend with temperatures once again closer to record values than averages. Tonight, not much relief from the heat. Overnight into your Saturday morning, temperatures will only fall to the mid to upper 80s with clear sky and a bit of a breeze. That gustier wind will pick back up tomorrow afternoon as highs climb near 112. That's very close to where we landed Friday, so expect that intense heat to uh, be the case again tomorrow. Temperatures will start to trend downward heading into the start of next week, but we will it will take us until the end of next week to see highs back near normal of 104. Danny, thank you. Remember, you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.